The Black Feminist Conversion Experience. One, the pre-encounter. This is how it began. You were taken by his pro-black social political disquisition, his tender language for women, how he reduced decades of suffering into sentences, talking about the battle of ideas and the pitfalls of national consciousness, reciting political philosophy as though your tiny little hands have never balanced a book in their life. But revolution has been on your mind ever since he came knocking on your door. And hearing him speak made your lips water, mouth wide open. You let him slip his fist in it. And he was always coming, standing up all by himself, always a fist in the air. He said his name like a punchline. It reverberated inside you, bouncing against your stomach walls. Amanda! You are a comrade now. The encounter. When you learn that the revolutionary lover is not an authority on any of his favorite topics, including himself, listen to all his excuses and rhetoric. Witness the show of his insecurities. Give him another beer. Pray that he finds a plan at the bottom of it. No one will tell you, but your sole responsibility here is accommodation. Prepare something for him to eat. Keep it moist and warm. When he tells you that he has already eaten, bow your head. Pretend you can't smell the pussy in his breath, but when his hands are warm, rest in them. When he pulls a black fist raised high in the air, allow. Become a former shadow of yourself and take note. All this is simply an obstacle to your self actualization Princess. The revolution will not happen between your thighs. Princess. Contrary to your convictions, he is not fucking you for your mind. Princess. You will set yourself afire before you realize that even he cannot conquer the sun. You will learn that honor and loyalty are words of patriarchal allegiance. Immersion. You live in a time of men. Call your sisters. Meet the woman of your life. Listen to them. Listen, listen. And remember her name. This land, how it rejects you, your history of silence, how it just happened to you. Wrap your head with that material. Make noise. When he begs, you stop screaming. When he says the shouts of the revolution are always silent, he means yours. Don't be obedient. Be disobedient. Prosecute him for every act of violence before he insults your consciousness. Before he says your library is too skinny, lay siege to the monster. Unshackle your breasts, tie your material to a pole, and stick pads on all the campaign posters. Four, immersion. Do not forget to look like your mother. Sing him struggle songs like lullabies in the night time and rub his back, rub his chest. Bury his head in your bosom. Some of these boys have barely busted a nut. Proceed to let him speak as though they have. Let them witness the show of your survival, the commotion of your brain, the knots in your hair, all of your ideas. Parade your scars in all your soft parts. Trace a map on your body from your first to the last. What he feels in your quiet harmony would turn any comrade into an Ascari. When he walks away, he only means to prove that he is a man. He is but let him prove that he's not his father. Five, internalization. It's about you now. Love him at arm's length, except that you won't see how old age looks on him if you do it right. Let that dying thing leave the body. My militant sister, you are ready to speak. Euphoria is a weapon of war. Decolonize your body. Take that fist out of your mouth. Stop shaving. Sit on his face. Recite bell hooks like the lyrics to your favorite song. Make him digest your pussy politics. Tell him that you have seen more blood than he ever will in his lifetime. Tell him that black love is a genderless poem because you too are not one bit tamed and that you too will never just be convenient. Command him to make himself useful. There is no romance between sexism and society. Soul is body, imagination is revolution. Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to the fourth 
episode or third, I don't know. But anyway, welcome to another episode of Unpolice Expressions. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. No, don't, don't police my expressions. expressions. We thought that we should do an episode yes. on what we deem to be comrade, comrade sick. Okay. Yeah. Because I yes, Miss guys. It's Miss Ile since through and through, <laughs> and it's yes, and we must have a reflection period, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this episode will serve justice for that. Yeah. Uh, so what do you, what do you think of of comrade Dick? Yo, I feel like Comrade Dick is very divisive, <laughs> especially if we're going to speak about, uh, you know, women, women's organizing, yeah. feminism, feminist organizing uh, at a youth level, at yeah. a student level, at an entry level mm. uh, into South Africa's or into the country's national political culture. Um, I think that Comrade Dick as an initiation Ooh. Uh, process. Tricky. Into activism, yeah. into political activism, I think it's something that a lot of feminist activists and young women activists in the existing political organizations of our time yeah. have had to encounter at one point or another. Or another, you know, because most of the time we are recruited by uh, Comrade Dick, you know, romantically and otherwise. Well, and it's the same thing. Yeah, so. Man, <laughs> romantically and otherwise and in this instance I'm gonna reflect on the romantic part and the otherwise part at the same time right so now we're comrade we are comrade and one of our feelings right and it's called being image a for my comrade initiating a space so comrade is the man and you say any into an Believable because you go through so much. Comrade Dick is broke as fuck, first and foremost. Comrade Drake wants you to yes, be the provision god of their comradeism, right? And you don't even see this coming because you're coming there with all your emotions and all the love. Yeah. And you want to give it and give yourself and you're also drawn into the revolution, you know, and activate. Uh, uh, Activating spaces for politics, for activism, or whatever reason, and Ikomre Dick comes there at first, and you know sweeps you off your feet, takes away your money, uh, gives you even ideological content, eh? Extreme content, but more than Ikomre Dick, you must read up. You have to know what's going on. Then you're coming, you're like dialectical materialism, eh? Then you know Ikomre Dick. If we get like we right? But it's not always rosy and sometimes very traumatic because the comrade Dick Knight is going through his own trauma. I'm not even speaking of comrade Dick because we know men are trash, but otherwise the comrade Dick, yes, needs some affair. Yeah, you know, and I think where it becomes real mm. and where it becomes painful is when you realize that you are acting on passion, you are acting on emotion, oh, yes. you are acting on real things, yes. but you are also simultaneously a pawn in an, in the numbers game that oh, yes. that uh, yes. politics is right M membership <laughs> yeah the membership question to be like how many people have you recruited Voters. into this branch <laughs> you know and usually your head count of mm. the number of uh, women you've either solicited or yeah. slept with or dated yeah. become your membership base yes. right yes. like uh, the guys will literally ask each other ah, who have you brought into the organization you have yeah. into the organization and this person will name people that they have solicited romantically yes. so they solicit you romantically yes. then you know they've captured and then you know yeah. that you know this is how you've been brought into mm. the cabral this is how you've been brought into, into the faction into, yes <laughs> right <laughs> And whose yeah, faction yeah. you fall yeah. into, right? You mm. automatically become that consequence, that pawn, that whatever. Yeah. But what is worse is because this thing of recruitment, of membership is an ongoing thing in mm. order to grow the branch, in order to grow the project. Yeah. It doesn't end Kawen. I They're just regulating the space with dick. I want to open the link of spacing before when. Yeah, no, okay, the same hey, way. Okay, the same way. And then you end up slashing each other. And then the next other. one, Yo, hi, the guys. one who comes oh, after oh, you oh, will oh, be oh, recruited oh, in the same manner. Off? No, it's just the, the, the light is just low because okay. it's less than 5% now. Yeah. The one that comes after you will be recruited in the same manner, mm. right? So what then this comrade dick does is that it divides women. And First sets and women up against each other. Yeah. 
it makes sure that there isn't such a thing as 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 as, as feminism yes. that can be a, a real and legitimate stronghold mm. uh, or a force within the organization. Yeah, and subsequently that means that's how they regulate the space. You know, we become regulated even with emerging and leadership and all of those things, even though we hate to admit it. But those spaces are ultimately regulated by Dick, or with the wish proximity or close it to, to the comrade Dick or whatever. And how that works in reverse psychology is that we end up start shaming each other, mm -hmm. you know, for the process and journey that we've all been through. Because you know, Goma, Goma Goma <laughs> <laughs> but now we have to move. Oh, we have to move and grow from this and actually admit this, you know, this fact, the fact that comedy dick exists and yes, Nisa, and that we have to resist. And they to song. And that they to song, guys. You know, you can't claim a comrade, comrade dick. dick. In people's bay. You, you, In people's bay. You can't claim that shit. People's bay. People's you, bay. You can't claim that shit. You can't want to now keep come it for yourself. Nah. Ah, 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 ah. But otherwise, you know, that is, that is what's <laughs> happening. I mean, there's also nice parts, you know, of the Comrade Bay. I mean, the passion is out of this world. Of course. You know, you come alive in parts of you that you didn't even know existed. The mind you know, Because games. it's a spiritual journey that awakens you to your positionality as a black person. And then you obviously, you know, you find out other things as your black womanhood and all of that. But ultimately, it, it comes right there, It ignites a feminism. Makes you come alive. <gasps> even through trauma. You know, when you go through trauma and going through these experiences, fine, irresistance, eh, alarm, yeah, vugu, it's mm -mm, something is wrong, something is off, right? And and that's when also we become we come to feminist the way we do mm. because we've experienced these things that we talk about we're not talking mm. about them what we are just observers no mm. we go through it we've seen how these men treat us in these spaces we've seen how comrade dick silences us through bomb dick it has happened <laughs> bomb dick has silenced us guys and we know that and there's no time to be shaming each other for this because we've seen each other being silent on methods that we shouldn't be silent on yeah because comrade sick young yeah, yes Yang is. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Let us know what you think, guys, and your experiences on Comrade Dick. News on Kaja, Nikaz Martin, it's New Silly, and we are admitting this fact. And we are still about Comrade Dick, even the Nam Shanji level. You can't lie about that shit. About what? That whether you've denounced Comrade Dick, um, we haven't, okay? And we hate to admit this, right? No, because it's just we don't from want a distance. Conquered. Just like, you know, <laughs> now it's like from, from here. Like, yes! Because also, it's not mastering we, we are here to welcome the new recruits. <laughs> we are trying to build our own section <laughs> from the new recruits. Of course. Watch out for the comrade. Even me, I want. Even me, I want. Even me, I want. 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 But on this Over corner, here. we have a, we love you. a kettle of, of, of water so boiling. Much. We can't so wait much. to sip tea with you. After, exactly. Yes, we are going each other. After Comrade and D. the feminist revolution thrives. After Comrade D, mm. it's delightful, isn't it? We'll be right here at more women's desk. Sliding the DM. Rishara <laughs> tea. Just stirring the tea to be like, mm. <laughs> and, then what did, and then what did you say? <laughs> I'll even tell you what he said. I'll even tell you what he said beforehand. I'll even tell you first and we know you bought this you bought this much alcohol, you cooked this much food, you went through this, you fought with this person because of this, you emerged here, you didn't emerge here, you Yes, we why? know because all of why ew. Right to my level. <laughs> <laughs> It is up on our social media pages <laughs> at Shambok M, Shambok M on Twitter, and Nalili Chira on Twitter, and Lewis Waman, no. Nico Chic yes. on Twitter. And let us know the hashtag is unpoliced expressions. For no reason, guys, we just need to worry. Sante, as in Jongi, the lap of my campus is lap. Kuma assembly is in Jongi, and the eyesight is dangerous, right? But we're about you, and we know you're about us. So don't let anybody ever, ever, ever. Police your, your expression. expression. Peace out.